Hi, cutie pies. I am Lanikia, and you are watching what happened on the soaps. This is the young and the restless edition. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, today is Monday, September the 25th, 2023. On a scale of one to 10, I'm going to have to give this one a seven. You know what? I actually enjoyed this episode. Even though they only six, showed six people, it was still really good. All right. So, um, we start off with seeing, uh, we start off with seeing Jack and don't forget to like, comment to let me know you were here and subscribe to the channel. We start off with seeing Jack and Billy. So they're fussing, right? Because Billy says, Jack, you don't trust me. No matter what I've done, no matter what I say, no matter what happens, excuse me. You just do not trust me. And it's annoying. And Jack is telling Billy, well, I don't think this is working out. He pretty much tried to fire Billy. That That's what I got from that. Um, and so he says, oh, so you're trying to get rid of me. And Jack is just like, Billy, it's not working out. You went behind my back with Devon. And Billy says, I don't need your permission to do what I want to do. Like I, you, some kind of way you think that I have to have your permission to do things. And that's not the case. Um, and so then Billy says, well, that's, you know, I'm your only ally and I have information that can get rid of Tucker. And Jack said, well, this is very convenient that all of a sudden you have it. And he said, it's only convenient for you because you don't trust me because you don't trust me, um, and everything. And so Billy is just like, I'm tired of you all. It always feels like you're giving me a chance. You're giving me a shot instead of like just me being in the business because I'm good at what I do, um, as well. It always feels like you had, you gave me this chance and you gave me this shot. And then Jack does kind of say that he can he just keeps telling him, I gave you an opportunity. And Billy said, I don't like that. I don't like that you say it like that. Um, but he tells him, I have, anyways, I have information on Tucker and, and Jack says, well, what is it? And he says, you know, I don't have the information, but Adam has it. He told me he would give it, but you know, Adam, and I feel like you're the best person to negotiate with him because Jack says, Adam wants something. And he says, yes, of course he wants something. And he says, I don't understand your friendship with Adam. And he said, well, at first it started off with Jack was really doing it just to get under Victor's skin. He said, but then he actually realized he liked Adam. And Adam had been through a lot with, you know, with Victor and he, and he felt for him on that regard. And so their friendship is real. It has nothing really to do with Victor. And, um, but anyways, he tells him Adam has the information and for a price, he'll give it. So Jack says, all right, thank you. I'll reach out. And they come to some kind of tentative agreement that they're, Jack is going to start trying to trust Billy more. And Billy says, you know, he needs Jack to understand he's looking out for the company. It's not about personal gain. He's just looking out for the company because Jack does feel like Billy at one point um, is he's upset because mama, mama, please. He's upset because um, he doesn't get to run the company like he thought he would. That's what Jack feels like. So I don't know, y'all. We're going to have to wait and see how all of this unfolds and everything. So moving on from that we go over here to at uh, not adam um phyllis and tucker so he tells her all right get into billy's financials and she says or right, send the money over so he sends a million over and she said uh-uh you told me you were sending 21 20 uh 2.2 million and he said i already sent you half the million she says no you're missing um a hundred thousand so you supposed to send me 1.1 now and 1.1 later. And he was like, <laughs> okay. So he sent it to her, right? And so she gets in, she, um, she's trying to get into Billy's financial records. She's trying to get into Billy's financial records. And when she's getting into them, um, he lets her know the rest, which is that he wants her to go into Jabot's, um, financials as well. And take the money from Jabot to Billy to, you know, to Billy's account. And she said, what? No, I'm not doing that. You didn't say anything about that. I told you that I was only going to do, give you the money, not this other part of it. He said, Oh, Phyllis, you knew it was going to be more 
to it than that. And she said, I knew it. That's why I kept asking you, what is it? What is it? What extra is going on? And you didn't want to say it. He was like, well, you know you need this um, money unless you just want to give me a refund. And But she needs the money because Jeremy Stark took that $2.2 million away from her. I mean, $2, two million away doing um, when she was when she was dead he took that from the insurance company and so she needs it because she has to pay the insurance company back or they're going to sue her and so she's i said phyllis please don't do it <laughs> but she does it she goes ahead and goes into fi billy's financial because her and tucker actually i like tucker and phyllis when they work together um but he starts fussing at her because at first she tried to stall and not do it by saying, oh, I ran into a firewall. I can't get through and all that. And he was like, stop playing, Phyllis, and do this. So she goes ahead and does it. And she feels bad because she says Billy is trying to change. Billy has changed and everything. And he says, and nobody going to believe. You. Everybody knows it's just a matter of time before Billy um, was going to do something like this again. Um, so yeah, she goes ahead and wires money from Jabo's account to Billy's account. And that's what they're going to do. That's what she's going to do. So then, um, we see, we see that after that, hold on just a second. So then we see that after she's done, um, she goes to come down the stairs and she runs into Billy and she's like, hi, Billy, and all that. And and he tells her hi. And they, you know, they're just having a little frilly conversation. Now she's feeling a little guilty because she undid this to him. And um, he tells her, How's it, how's that job going with Sharon? Um, and she says, Oh, it's up in the air. And he's and he then Tucker comes down and he says, You'll bounce, you'll bounce out of it. You always do. Cause Billy already know her and Tucker are up to something, and he um probably got Phyllis to do something. Um do something for him that she shouldn't be doing so anyway that's pretty much it with them y'all um so then we see that adam is with sally adam is with sally and he's trying to make Ad sally have feelings for him he says you know he remembers the kiss and he feels like she felt the feelings that he felt when they had that kiss and he knows she wants him i said sir she is with your brother now like i get that she was with Adam first, but she is actively sleeping with your brother. Like, what? They just be doing that. Anyways, so he just wants her to remember that. And she says, Adam, I'm with Nick now. And whatever, you, like, this is wishful thinking on your part. That doesn't have anything to do with me. I'm not wanting that type of relationship with you or whatever and you say you've changed and he says i have then that's why i'm being so mm -hmm. honest and open about my feelings mm -hmm. says not nah, adam you know you're my boy but you're being honest and open about your feelings because you want mm -hmm. sally to dump nick and come on back to you and she tells him the exact same thing and she says it's not happening i'm with nick now and i don't want complications of anything to do with you so you know stop all this and he tells her, all right, he will. But then he goes, um, and she goes to her apartment, to her hotel room, and she gets, um, uh, she has, um, flowers waiting from Nick. And she, he tells her, you know, sorry, it's taking so long. He misses her and all that. And she says, Nick, please come on back. Cause she's thinking about Adam, right? And Adam's sitting there with the smug little smile. Cause he know he done got to this girl. Um, and then he looks at his phone cause he gets a phone call and he starts smiling again cause it's Jack. I don't know what Adam's whole plan is, but, um, he got something going down, uh, going down and we're just going to have to wait and see what exactly he's, his move is. But anyways, Jack calls him. And Jack tell he Jack says, I'm sure you're not surprised to hear from me. He said, no, I figured Billy would pass that information along. Um, I'm sure that Billy would pass that information along to you um, and let's negotiate. And Jack said, all right, let's meet up. And so that was it, y'all. It was a quick little episode. They only showed six people. So it was a fast episode. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Stop. And I will uh, see you guys tomorrow for another episode of What Happened on the Soaps, the Young and the Restless Edition. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.